thought I might as well just uh, quickly pop this apart and have a closer look. Might uh, might interest some people. Um, ooh. That's, that's too large. That is a weird size screw head they've used on those. Just pull apart. Oh, there we go. And I was right, there was something rattling around inside this. There is a small, you probably won't be able to see this. Oh, yes, you can. That's just been punched out of a sheet of plastic. I don't know quite where that's come from originally, but that was what was rattling around. Alright, so let's have a look. see we've got the mains input there there is a clamp just in there hopefully you'll be able to see this and then we've got the earth going off to what looks you know the earth goes off to the transformer and then you've got a connection to the switch and then out of the switch to the transformer I have to say this looks very nicely made actually I'm just going to have a closer look here see what we've got adjustment there is just on a standard pot it just rests in there and the front obviously just holds it in place I don't think there was any there was no movement in that when it was in the case but that might be a little weak spot for dry joints on that potentiometer there device on the small heatsink there is a PJA 120-10A2 um, BT-136-600 yeah it looks nicely made this is an issue 3 board I'm not sure what the changes were over time uh, yeah, very nicely made. Just looking on the back, I'm not going to take this apart any further. There is a pot there, there is an 8 pin device just there, obviously on the underside. Oh, not sure why that's been fitted on the underside, really. Um, yep, yeah, all looks very nicely made press for that. Again, with the DIN socket could be a, a weak spot, but you're not going to be unplugging the iron very often, so I don't believe that would be a, uh, be a problem. A nice bit of tube, pipe uh, tubing on each of the mains connections and they go off to equally nice connections on the 
transformer in there. Again, I don't know that you'll see this, and I don't intend taking the board off. I don't think I'm going to be worrying that much. Um, strangely, there are two connections. You can see the on the on the uh, this side. There's two connections that have just been terminated with connectors with heat shrink over the top. I'm not sure why they would do that. Actually on this back of the transformer as well there is another, yeah you can just see it through there, there's another terminal that's been connected um, with a heat shrink tube around it. So that's perhaps connections for a different uh, different market. Yeah, in fact, it's labelled 110, and then it's connected to, 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 to the 230. So yeah, different markets. And on you know the other side, those just blanked off terminals are 12 volt, and the ones that are connected are actually labelled as 24 volt. So that explains uh, explains that. So yeah, that's nice. I quite like that. Pretty well made, I think. So, yeah, that's it. Just thought I'd give you a, a quick peek inside. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later.